We're in Cook City. Now we're on the Ross to Chutes on a southwest aspect. And we were thinking about skiing some steeper terrain around here, decided we'd dig and look for this, this upper weak layer of facets. We didn't have to go all the way to the ground. We know the depth was down there. Did an extended column test and this layer propagated cleanly on 21 hits. So we know that's unstable. We're gonna back off a of steep terrain in this area and go down the way we came up. Another layer, some near surface facets kind of mid pack. So those didn't go on my first test. I'll continue my ECT here and see, see what they do. <clears throat> All right, so 25 hits, and those facets propagated as well. So we have two layers of facets, uh, poor structure here, kind of hard to initiate, but just that poor structure is enough to keep us off this steeper terrain. We're in Cook City, just off a of Henderson bench, and we dug down to the ground. It's over two meters deep. We found the depth floor down there. It's really hard. So it's getting really hard to affect that layer. It's still a problem in some places. Above that, we got a really solid snowpack, but we did find a layer of surface hoar buried here and other slopes on some south aspects. Yesterday, we found facets around a crust about this deep. So it doesn't matter what layer it is, you can dig down and look for this layer and test it before riding or skiing a slope. And uh, we'll do a quick extended column test here to see how this surface hoar is behaving. So we had an ECTX, we didn't get that, that surface hoard to break. Um, so on, we're on a northeast aspect here. On some of those south aspects, we had a mixed bag of results, some stable, some unstable. So it's worth it to dig down and test this layer. If you get unstable results, maybe choose a different slope. 